Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I'm back again today with episode 42 of the Bhagavan Ridden Tales. We're right where we last left off last time. In the last episode, we obtained these things and spoke to a dragon. Now I don't really, I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to think of places, there's nothing here. There's nothing in the crypt, there's nothing there, there's nothing at the ogres. That only leaves, I believe, one place, which is the mine. And now that I think about it, we actually did leave some stuff at the bottom of the mine that we never ended up getting, if I recall correctly. So let's go and have a look. Let's just wander through here, because all the earth pixies are friendly with us now. Let's just head. It was this way. Do, 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 do. Yes, all the earth pixies don't mind us being here now. What have we got? I'm just having like an explore, just making sure we can't pick up anything that's around here. Because this is where we blew up the all the rubble that was there. Let's head into this way, into the brightly lit cave. Okay. Go down. Head on downwards. See, there's that thing, and there's... Oh, Lord, God knows what else. Um, that Earth Pixie's got a Dragon Skull. Oh, my God! We can use that Dragon Skull with the dragon to fix the ending. Earth Pixie, can I please have have the Dragon Skull? The right one. Wait, what? Wait, what? What did I just get rid of? Oh, the crystals! Oh, did he, he need crystals? Oh, well, he's just wandered off. His just head was just... Well, and that's so mine. I think you now belong to me. Can I now have some offerings? The big stones stand out, but maybe I can take a few of the small gold nuggets unnoticed. Cool. Fantastic. Left. Get him! The human has stolen some gold! <laughs> so they can't hear you anymore? Nice try. So when you're sitting on top of my head, only I can hear you, right? Wow, what a bummer. <laughs> Don't celebrate too much. I'm planning an opera for this evening. <laughs> Wagner's Ring. Right, okay, sure. Mm, these jewels are pretty... Don't push our luck. Okay, that's fine. Can I... Can I have Wooza? That ugly little guy is the Earth Pixie's deity. He'll have to say around here again since I've taken the helmet away. Pretend to be a deity, how could you? A shameful sin, and Wooza will punish you. Wooza. Wooza looks very content, and I'd better not touch him. The Earth Pixies would probably flip out. Oh, okay. I was hoping oh, I could have him. Rubbish. Pick him up. Don't worry. You can even shake him. No problem. That'd be nice. Are you giving me rotten advice on purpose? Would I have any reason to? Uh, maybe the fact that. I've stolen you? That might be a reason, but I don't know. Oh well. Not uh, too big of a deal. Let's carry on and head up the stairs very slowly. I, I presume we've taken everything that we can from down there. We've now got gold, which is fantastic. We can hopefully melt that. And now we've got to walk all the way back through the mine again, because if I just use the fast travel... Oh, hold on, what the? Veins in the rock. What's that all about? I didn't even see that. Small copper deposit. If I had a pickaxe, I could dig it out. Where do I get a pickaxe? Pick. What? Oh, oh, saying that, there's probably a pickaxe. So I've probably just got to explore. There's probably a pickaxe somewhere around here. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, God, there's a copper deposit? Pickaxe there. How about this way? Any pickaxe up here? A pickaxe calling all pickaxes. Nothing there. Look, seems like a pickaxe. Unless I can, I can't talk to any of these guys to ask for their pickaxe either. Hmm. Hmm. Very confusing. Very befuddling. Let's head over because there's another path down this way. Could be a pickaxe lying about over here, maybe? Surprised we didn't see it previously, if there is one. 
There's a nothing on there. Nothing that really stands out and looks like a pickaxe, unfortunately. I can go around there though. See if there's one down here. Hmm. Come on, Nate, you're so slow. Oh wait, is there a pickaxe down here? I'll check there first. It's just a trough. No, no pickaxe, unfortunately. Okay, head over this way. Teddy bear. There's that hole. I forgot, did we? We must, I can't remember using that, but we must have used it for something. Um, huh. Well, I never. There's no pickaxe. Let's leave. See if there's one outside that I've missed. Could well be one sat outside. That's just barrels and bits of wood. Wooden, wooden handle. Is that? I, mean, I don't know. Is there a pickaxe out here? Hello, pickaxe. I need a pickaxe, please. There isn't. That is a bummer. Okay. Nevertheless, we can't walk any further this way. Let's go back to the dragon. See if there's a pickaxe here that we missed. Probably not, though, saying that. Okay, now. Gold nugget. Work the gold nuggets on the anvil. I shouldn't just start bashing the nuggets around. The oh. gold has to be smelted before it can be worked. Oh, okay. Put the nugget in there. Now we've got nuggets in a bowl. Can't put it in there yet, though, because we don't. that's not hot enough. I ought to fire up the furnace. Yeah. We can put the dragon head, though, there. That's done it. The head fits perfectly. Fantastic. Oh, I still can't use this. I think I could let the lava flow again. The head makes the connection from the basin to the funnel. Okay, let's make it flow then. This hatch keeps the lava in the basin. If you open it with the help of the chain, the lava flows out. Let's open it then. Lava flow. Fantastic. Now, can we put this in there? Even with the pliers, the heat's almost unbearable. Hmm. The furnace is so hot you can hardly get near it. Okay. Could I, could, what do I what do? I do? What do I do? Take the ball out? Is it done? The nuggets have melted in the furnace. Yes. A small golden pool is formed in the bowl. Fantastic. Now can I work it on the anvil? Let's hope so. I can't work that eensy bit of gold on the anvil. Oh, what do you... Pour the gold in... Oh, of course, pour the gold into the press. Ah, good. I'll pour the gold into the mold. Should be just enough. Okay. Okay, now use the coin press. A superb gold coin with a vicious-looking dwarf on it. Still hot. All right, we've got gold coins. Can we go and give them to the dragon? Hello, dragon. Hello, gorgeous. Yes. Yes. I've got a gold coin. Look, I've got the first coin for your treasure. May there be many more to follow. Oh, thank you. It's okay. So, what about the sword? Yeah, can I have it? Well. Yes. I'm lying on it. Oh. Could you take it? Hmm. Nice. Okay, apparently we're not going to see. Where is it, exactly? A bit further down, I think. Yes, there. There it is. That's the head of a pickaxe. Oh, uh, head of a... <laughs> Uh, just a bit further. Oh, can we use this with the wooden handle? To make a... Oh, it's broken? It's broken. What? It snapped under your weight. Oh, so that's why it suddenly stopped talking. <laughs> and it was so nice. It said that I was a terrible monster, and that it would love to cut my head off. Oh, what a nice sword. That's no good to me. What am I going to do with a broken sword? 
You, you could perhaps repair... We have to get the copper to repair the sword with like the pick... You could learn. There's a book on smithying there. Okay. That... Zero to weapon smith in 14 days. Wow. Okay. That's too long. I don't have 14 days. Then you'll have to read faster. You'll find everything you need here. An anvil, fire, instructions. Yeah. Huh. I gotta get going. Happy practicing. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Right. Okay. First off, we've now got a pickaxe. Fantastic. I wasn't right. Perfectly. Get in. Okay. Let's look at the nice. book. Magic sword. Magic sword. Magic. Ah, here, right at the back of the book. Not a good sign. Blah blah. Forging magic sword. Level ninety-eight smiths. The high art of smithing. Only level ninety-eight smiths can forge magic swords. That's not very good at all. Roughly calculated, my level is zero. Well, truly, it's one Let's now. See. We've this made is that coin. This they explain how a magic sword can be repaired. You have to reforge it and then hold it in dragon fire. And what am I going to practice on until I'm at level 98? That doesn't sound bad. Copper pots. Pretty simple, and you only need one raw material. Copper. Fantastic. Let's go get us some copper. Hey, it's all, all planned all coming together nicely. Let's head back in. Hopefully the last time we have to go to this maze, because it's the longest place to walk through ever. Head up here and to the left. No, up here and to the left, even. That guy just stood around, just. He's mining literally nothing. But, yep, yeah, sure. Whatever. You keep on keeping on, guy. I'm not judging. Pickaxe, dig out the copper. Let's go. Haha. -ha. Nate the Earth Pixie. I've got three pieces of copper bearing ore. Fun. Hmm, Task. No arcanite crystal in it. Is that arcanite crystal? Is that a problem? Did it, is that? I have no idea. Right. What do I do with this? Tip the copper ore into I'll the crystal. Put in as many stones as possible. Okay. Then I melt that. Right. Okay. I think I know what to do. Right. Let's leave head this way. There we go. Let's put that in there. Then take it out with the pliers. With the pliers, the heat's almost unbearable. Yeah, you said that last time. You don't need to repeat yourself, Nate. Come on. Pliers, take the ball out. The copper's melted and run out of the stones. I wouldn't have thought there would be so much. Okay. Now. This onto the anvil. The copper's too runny. I can't work it like that. You cool it down. Okay. Cool down the copper. Oh, I can imagine the placement going, ah, I'm cool enough, I'm cool enough. Just a piece of copper. Just a piece of copper, fantastic, that's what we needed. A piece of copper onto the anvil. The copper is still hot, but it'll slowly harden. Let's give it a go then. There we go. Later. Not perfect just yet, but then I'm only a level one blacksmith. Oh, don't tell me I've got... Only another 97 pots. Don't tell me that. What's up? Get the copper, smelt the copper, make the pot. We have to get the most out of our playtime, so let's get going. Oh. Mm. Okay, <laughs> I'll do it on my own. I was gonna say, I am not sitting here and doing 97 more pots. Much later, very much later. 98 pots, level 98. Wow, that was fun. Oh, wow, that is a lot of copper well, pots. I can now forge pretty much anything, including broken magic swords. Fantastic. Can I, can I have a copper pot? Copper pots. 98 of them, and each one nicer than the other. Can I have one, please? I just can't understand why some people don't enjoy doing the same thing 98 times. <laughs> it's very calming. <laughs> no. An old okay, that's just the anvil. Okay, no, I can't have any pots. Okay. Reforge the ah, sword of power. Speaking as a level 98 blacksmith... I know what needs to be done. Woohoo! Ta-da! I've reforged the sword that was once broken. Now I've just got to harden it in some dragon fire. Okay, so what, I put the sword in there? 
Wait, 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 wait. Rehard. Unhardened non magical. Ugh. What? Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm very confused. Oh, I need to get the dragon to breathe fire. Hello, Gordon. Yes. Could you just spit. The sword needs to be tempered in dragon fire. Would you do the honors? She doesn't say she doesn't oh, know how. That isn't going to be easy. I've never breathed fire before. And here's me thinking you're a dragon. I am. But in order to spew fire, one has to be mad with anger. That is the normal state of mind for most dragons, is it not? But I don't I, I don't really do anger. The autogenic training. Autogenic training and yoga in the past. Well that doesn't help us now, does it? Um do you know that you're pretty damned ugly, even for a dragon? You mean monstrously ugly and terrifying? <gasps> Thank you. No, that's not the response I was after. Your football team stinks. <laughs> they can't play. They'll never be able to play. You got and no fans. They have is an idiot. You got no ground. Football? It's when you uh, have a ball and ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> you're stupid. You're really, really dumb. Why do you say that? Because it's a fact. But it isn't true. I've always been an avid reader. Didn't do much for you. I've never met such a thick old dragon before. I've never met any dragon before. Hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> but one thing should be obvious to you at least. Uh, oh. Even your own mother can't stand for you. Your or mother stand you so even. Obnoxious she gave you away. Of course. Oh, for that's what dragons do. Have you ever had anything to do with dragon children? You definitely do not want those around. That didn't go to plan. Burning, poisonous, oozing excrement. Oh, lovely. Uh, dragons like you shouldn't go in for monster training. I reckon dragons like you just shouldn't pursue a monster education. Why ever not? You don't belong in the world of work. You should go find yourself a terror-inducing husband who has a good job and can look after you. Ooh. That is... The main thing is, though... Oh. You'll never be Let a dangerous monster. You, straight. you will never become a dangerous monster. Your dreams? Forget them. You really think so? Oh, for crying out loud. I do sometimes think that, too. But I... I would so love... <laughs> We've got a crying dragon. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake, who do you want to be then? Oh, come on! Yoga masters don't feel pain. It'll pass. No. You will become a real evil monster just like all the others. Do you really think so? Of course. Oh, thank you so much. What? what I've been trying to tell you the whole time. Yes. Oh, for crying out loud. <gasps> okay. Didn't do God damn it. One uh, you, um, you shouldn't go in for monster I training. You don't. That is the main. You stink. You stink like hell. My eyes are stinging. Yes. My sulfur odor. Oh, for God's sake. On you, you Male dragons, however. Always found it most agreeable. My first boyfriend even called me his little stinky poo. All I need you to do is spit fire. May I perhaps offer you a little tea and sympathy? No, you're all right. Okay, let's try again. You're stupid. Okay, hey, that is not very nice. All I need to do is get to the presumably not that one. I reckon it's this one, and then I've got to say. I need your help. But you could help me out, sweetheart. My shirt could use a wash and an iron. What? I breathed fire! Oh, okay, that worked apparently. Good for both of us. I was so angry that I. Thank you. It's alright. My pleasure. Hello, sword. Ah! Hearts! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> I've reforged you after you got accidentally snapped by a dragon. Where is that monster? I want to bathe in her blood. 
But we, we don't have time for that now. We still have a pretty big task ahead of us. Yeah. I'll slash you away through our enemies. Success! I think, guys, we have finally... Oh, laddie, not more fighting. I recognise your spineless blabbering. And I recognise your brainless aggression. <laughs> oh, great. That smart ass is here too. Now quiet, please. Let's get with the program. Mm. Let's split scouts. Yeah. Or not. Or well, let's go swimming. Come on, human. I dare Shut your trap. And that goes for all of you. Now that we're all together, you guys are going to get me into the orc camp. Or else. Yeah! No! So I can get my friend out of there. A rescue mission? We'll have to proceed very carefully and diplomatically. Oh, I'm sure that'll happen. I think you should spit in the face of the biggest orc in the camp. I don't think I deserve this. Ooh, success music. And I... There we go. Oh, we've got a map and a feather. Well, guys, it has been fun getting these guys. We've got to go to the York camp, but we are going to do that in the next episode. We are going to stay here. We are going to just wait here until the next episode where we're going to enter the York camp. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye for now. It's a top-down vehicular combat game where the goal is to eliminate all the other racers by picking up various power-ups or ramming them off the screen with the aim to be the last vehicle standing. Different game modes means different goals, however, with one game mode titled Knockout rewarding you with a point for every race you take out, whereas Survival does what it says on the tin, do all you can to survive for maximum points. A lot more game modes are planned for the final release, so keep an eye on the Kickstarter for more information on those. The power-ups feel balanced, obviously some of them are better than others, but they all have their strong points.